ago in Uganda. The missionaries, the white fathers, particularly Father Monpierre, Simeon, and Brother Mans, introduced religion, the Catholic religion, to 22 young, brave, and courageous men. This basilica here, as you can see, was erected here in memory of the 13 Uganda martyrs that were killed and martyred here in Namgongo. Nine of them were killed elsewhere in different parts of Uganda. On a normal day, last week of May, coming to June, these doors are not closed except when it is night time because this place literally is flooded with people, different colors, different religions, different dialects from all over the world. This church was designed in a very special way to depict and represent each and every single matter of the 22. This pillar that I'm touching on right now represents one of the 22 matters and that we remember every 3rd of June. They are 22 pillars surrounding this church, which is 160 feet round. This place would be flooded right now, but as you can see right now, because of COVID-19 and the situation that we have to stay home and stay safe, it's empty and you can literally see the green, the beauty and everything that there is to see. <laughs> Today I'm so happy and very privileged. I am here at the Uganda Matters Catholic Shrine and today we are especially graced with the presence of uh, the one and only who knows the history of all the Uganda Matters in Uganda, the one who can give, put you in the scene of, nine, of 1885 on what, how, whatever happened. Please join me as we talk to Father Joseph Mukasa Mwonge. Father, you're most welcome. Thank you very much and I, it's a privilege, it's a privilege to me. Me too. To be I'm back. so happy to have you here, <laughs> despite these uh, times, yeah, and you, know, you are right. to talk to us and share mm. with us you are the right. part of the Uganda matters. As soon as the thank you, as soon as the missionaries arrived, they started uh, uh, catechizing, yes. and uh, remember they, they arrived on the 17th, the first group, 17th of February 1879, and the second group arrived in June the same year on the 15th and as soon as they came together they embarked on the work of evangelizing in 1880 already they baptized Paul Narubantua, Leo Rwanga, Joseph Rwanga, Leo Kadu and Peter Chononeka Damulida. That was on Holy Saturday. Holy Saturday in 1880. In 1882, they, get, they got uh, others that got baptized, including Joseph Mukasabaru Kudembe, Matthias Murumba, Luke Barnabak into, and uh, Andrea Kagwa. That was in 1882. Two, during the month of April. Two, in May. From then, a work continued up to today. Already in 1885, Joseph Mukasabari Kudembe had to be martyred at Nakivubo. To be exact, it was on the 15th of November, 1885, at Nakivobo. The majority died, were martyred, in 1880, 
six. Beginning with Dennis Sebugwawat Munyonyo, Andrea Kagwat Munyonyo, uh, Ponsian Ngondu at Kiamura, again near Munyonyo. Then, then now, I'm bringing that, that took place on the 26th of May. On the 27th, Atanasius Bazeketa is killed at Nakivubo, where Joseph Mkasabar Kudebe had been killed about six months earlier. A smaller group led by Mbugano uh, proceed to Mitiana where they murdered Noah Mawagali on the 31st of May 1886. Yes, it's understandable. They left Kampala on the 27th, which was a Thursday during the week, but they had to cross River Mayanja twice. Remember, there were no roads. They arrived there around 7 a.m. at Michiana, to, and Noah Mawagali uh, was killed exactly where the Basilica of Kinda Mitiana is. The bigger group, the main group, on the 27th proceeded towards Namugongo, but leaving Matthias Mulumba, Kalemba, Old Kampala, suffering. The 27th of May, 1886, he had his arms cut off, hands cut off, legs cut off, and pieces of flesh cut from all over his back and thrown over a fire prepared in front of him. And they applied a type of herb, it's called makai, to stop the word from oozing out completely. In order that, in, in order that he would suffer a lingering painful death, like the Prime Minister Katikiro Mukasa had ordered. What was, what was the order? They found Matthias Murumba said was proceeding to Narukolongo. Then they found him. Matthias Murumba did not start from Munyonyo. Uh -uh. They found him in Kampala. As he was going, the Prime Minister, the Katikiro wants you, said, oh, on with that, let's go. The Prime Minister, say, Prime Minister said, a chief like you are, and I understand you sent away all your wives because of the religion you are embracing. A chief is a shame. Then he courageously answered, is it because I'm thin that you, you conclude that I, I don't have enough food after sending away the wives? He said, how can you answer me like that? Take him and kill him the most painful death. Uh -huh. uh, this explains why he was treated that way. But that way, he suffered from the 27th of May, which was a Thursday, and died on the 30th of May, which was a Sunday. Which, uh -huh, suffering. But now, they proceed, they arrive at Lubao. Rubao is uh, some three kilometers from here, so three, three to five from here. Uh, Rubao in Nalia. And uh, Gonza, Gonza could not move anymore. Why? Because they've spent the night uh, uh, tied very, very, very. Uh -huh. 27th, but as we okay, we've said. But as they come no Mawagali, some nails has, had entered his flesh. He cannot move at a junction there, and they killed him there. Ah, the 27th, the would-be martyrs were in, within Namugongo. Namugongo. Each soldier, he could take one or two to keep at his home, semi-prison, waiting for the realization of enough firewood. So some other people were collecting firewood and enough firewood had been realized by the 2nd of June. So Mukajanga spent almost the whole night and his, his other people drumming and singing. Meaning, mothers tomorrow will have to cry on seeing their sons dying. 3rd June, Charles Luanga is killed here, where the basilica stands. Uh -huh, he's the first one to be killed here. And why here and not at the official execution site? Mm. I heard somebody saying he died here because he failed to move. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's dying here. Mm. He came up as a consequence of what took place towards the end of 1884, when Mwanga had just ascended the throne. 
His father, Mutesa I, had died on the 19th of October 1884, which was a Sunday around 11, around 11 a.m. Uh, that's October. So Mwanga now comes up uh -huh, to, towards the end of the year then to become king and he suggested, uh, he instructed that a lake be dug near his palace, okay, saying that Munyonyo was far away. Because he and his father used to go to Munyonyo for entertainment. He and his late father and uh, with others. So now with the lake near my palace, and that lake should continue up to Munyonyo, a distance of about nine miles. Aha! Wow. Uh -huh. So he asked Balukudeme to find somebody that would act as head. Balukudeme himself, himself feared to be the head. In Matayo Chirevu, he, was, he said, I cannot. Until Luanga, this is our Charles Luanga, he had not been baptized yet, so he had not got yet, yet the name Charles offered himself said here I am oh but Kudebe was happy he introduced him to the king and Mwanga the Kabaka was very happy and he ordered every male youth to join him during the excavation of the lake but later Senkore the ch assistant to the chief executioner the chief executioner was Mokajianga chief executioner meaning the, the, ch the chief soldier Senkole said, I cannot work under your boy. I am 40 years and you are only 23. And you think I can work under you just a boy? Uh, two, King I'm assistant to chief executioner. Then Luanga said, I say Luanga because he had not got yet got to the name Chaz. He got the name Chaz later on the day Badukudembe died. On the day Badukudembe was murdered on the 15th of November 1885. But now we are in. 1884, towards the end of the year, Luanga reminded him that the Kabaka cannot say this and somebody else says another thing contradicting the Kabaka's word. Saint Colin said, even though I'm not, you cannot. Several times he advised him to abide by the word of the king. Aha! So, Senkole was fined uh, three calabashes or three containers of the local brew and a goat. He paid the fine but retained the grudge. Mm -hmm. This is now what he's reminding Charles Rwanga. Do you remember what you did to me? To the extent of fining me? Ha! Then you showed me your authority, but now. I show you mine. That's why Charles Luanga was. You will not even continue to the official execution site. So he dragged Luanga from that direction, and Fopel, in his book African Holocaust, the story of the Uganda matters shows us that he was carried, dragged about a hundred yards up to where the altar is, and burnt him from feet to head. And it was on the third of June. Kizitu and others were watching, they were watching, they left Charles Ruanga, their leader, here. Because he had succeeded, Kudembe. when Kudembe died, they agreed that Charles Ruanga should take the lead. That's why, during the big persecution, it was Charles Ruanga who was the head, but he was very good, as good as the one he succeeded. So now, Kizito, Javira, Mugaga, Mkasachiru, Wawangu, Mbaga, Tuzinde, and others continue. 12 of them and they are burnt at the, the then official execution site. It was, by the way, one of the then 13 official execution sites in the Kingdom of Buganda. That one. And the one of Namugongo and the four others were characterized by fire. Each site could use its own method. But Namugongo and five others were characterized by fire. So 12 of them along with 13 Protestants. Uh, it does not mean that these were the only people who were killed on that day. Monsignor Semo Gerere in his book of Lambuaba Juris Ekstabek Soka tells us uh, that more than 100 people were killed 
because not only Christians were persecuted and, persecuted and killed there, but even some other people. If the king wanted to go and raid uh, another area, every male youth was supposed to join him. If the king said, the princes and chiefs so must die, big chiefs, punishment is in Namugongo. Uh, you are too bad to be killed elsewhere. Now the Uganda matters belong to that. Namugongo. So there were other people also uh, for other cases. So th those are now 13, 13 uh, at Namugongo and uh, others at various other areas. And the, the 22nd, the 22nd was John Mary Kiwanukamze, but that one died following year. So one, but in 1885. The majority, 1886. John Mary Kiwan comes there following year on the 27th of January. That was 1887 at Jugula, that's below Lubaga, near Mengo. Those are our 22 Uganda matters, but we have uh, some two others beatified, not canonized yet, but they, they are beatified, Jido Iwa and Dawuti Okero. So the number adds up to now 24, 22 canonized. That's it. having their names on the official list of saints in the Catholic Church. And two beatified, they are in heaven rejoicing, but a step further has to be made, God willing, so that they come up to the final stage. Otherwise, the Basilica at Namukongo has very big copper pillars. Mm. They are 22, and each one stands for a martyr. Wow, uh, that actually goes a long way explaining to us why the basilica is built in this uh, kind of design. And now you've uh, really uh, brought it up that, that there are two, 22 pillars that really stand for each and every each and every Uganda matter. But Father, taking you a bit back, why was Noah Mawagali specifically? Why did they have to go back to Mitiana to uh, for Noah Mawagali to die that side? Yes, Noah Mawagali was not around here. And very few times they did not want to come to, to Kampala or to the palace. So what was it, the cause of it? Now, he was there, but they knew. And in Bugano, the one who led the group that proceeded to Mitiana, knew because he had been given a responsibility to find out are uh, there no Christians outside the Kampala. That was the work of Mbugano. So they, they knew that at the home of Luke Banaba Kintu, where the cathedral stands, there are some Christians. They often go there to practice. Matthias Murumba, Luke Banaba Kintu, and Noah Mawagali himself. They used to go to the home of Luke Banaba Kintu. But Banaba Kintu, on hearing that danger was at the door, said, Let me go. Let me go and find. Let me go and face it. <laughs> After bidding farewell to all his people, they tried to arrest him. Resist. He resisted. Said, "No, I have to Christianity." That's why Luke Barnabas Kintu was not found in Mitiana. He was already here. He had joined Matthias Murumba, who was here in town, because he received. He used to receive presents for the king from single. We, we, and they would be brought to him and he would present them to the king. So Matthias Murumba was here. Luke Banaba came, came and met him. Noah Mawagali was there. So they found him there and was killed there in Mitiana. Thank you so much, Father. It's been a pleasure having you and uh, hearing from you and again rem reminding us of the stories of our brothers who died for their faith. Thank you very much. Dear viewers, always stay tuned and keep following us YouTube, Facebook and Twitter as well as our website, Our Lady of Africa Church, Mbuya. Till next time, I've been Joanne Banura. Keep tuned in. Thank you, Almighty. God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.